Windows XP tune-up video number seven. Uh, today I'm going to show you a few more things and we'll be complete with our series of videos here. Uh, the first thing we want to check is we want to check and make sure that our hard drives are operating optimally uh, with uh, DMA mode which is direct memory access. So let's go ahead and uh, choose a start menu and right click your my computer icon and select properties. We're going to uh, choose the hardware tab and under the hardware tab you'll see the listing for device manager. Go ahead and select the device manager button. Okay, the item we're going to be uh, looking for in here is the uh, IDE ATA ATAPI controllers and if you'll go ahead and select the little plus sign next to that item that'll expand it. Okay, and you'll see a few things in here. Uh, what we're really concerned with are the primary IDE channel and the secondary IDE channels. In here I show two because I have a RAID controller and, and it uh, operates a little differently than a normal uh, system. So in your system you'll probably only see one of each of these. And the first thing we want to do is right click and choose properties on the first item and then we're going to choose the advanced settings tab and we want to make sure that the transfer mode uh, under device 0 is set to DMA if available as well under device 1 we want to make sure that DMA if available is selected if you've changed those uh, as you can see they're already enabled in my system if you did make change to that uh, you will need to select OK and it's probably going to ask you to restart your machine and we'll go ahead and check the others to make sure and we have DMA if available and DMA if available once again if you change those select OK rather than cancel and we'll go ahead and check them all once again DMA if available DMA if available and select OK uh, you may be prompted to restart each time you make these changes uh, go ahead and uh, perform that restart each, in between uh, each setting change and now that we, let's see here one more Okay, we're going to go ahead and close this out and close the device manager as well as the system properties. Another handy way to uh, do a lot of the maintenance that we've already completed as far as temporary files are concerned is to use the system cleanup utility and let's go ahead and uh, show you how to invoke that by opening my computer you can right click your C drive and select properties and here on the main page you see this option for disk cleanup go ahead and select the disk cleanup button it's always good to do this at least once a month uh, is what I would recommend if you do a lot of searching on the internet and and uh, do a lot of work with uh, installation of programs or even in Word or the Office products uh, it can create a lot of temporary files and you should do this at least once a month you may want to do it twice a month and here of course I use this uh, option constantly so there's not a lot of information here you see that it uh, will remove downloaded program files, temporary internet files which we showed you another way earlier, office setup files, it will clean the recycle bin and delete temporary files. So once you have uh, opened that program go ahead and, and make sure that these items are checked. I do not recommend using the compress old files. Uh, when you compress files it does take your computer longer to access those files so if that is uh, selected I would deselect it once that's complete go ahead and select the OK button 
And it says, are you sure you want to perform these actions? The answer is yes. Okay, and that completes that aspect. Um, let's see here, under the uh, tools menu there's another option here for defragmentation and we can go ahead and select the defragment now button and here you have a couple options. Of course make sure your, your C drive is highlighted. Uh, if you do have more than one drive, my D drive is a compressed image uh, uh, drive. It just basically holds an image and cannot be scanned or defragmented. But if you do have another drive that you uh, store information on, you can run this process for that drive as well. Let's go ahead and uh, highlight your C drive. And you can hit the Analyze button for a, a short little report. And here it says uh, analysis is complete for the C drive. You do not need to defragment this volume. Now if it's been more than 30 days since you last defragmented, regardless of whether it tells you that you do not need to defragment this volume, I would recommend defragmenting. And go ahead and select defragment on that menu. And the process will start. Now, depending upon the size of your hard drive and the speed of your computer, as well as how much uh, installed memory you might have, uh, this process can take um, an hour or more. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this while this runs. Okay, that took about 45 minutes for my system. Uh, as you can see, the defragmentation is complete. And I'm going to go ahead and close this window as well as closing the utilities. Now for many of the uh, utilities and operations we've completed, uh, there is a utility that can uh, aid you in these processes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and review that program and run a couple of the utilities on it uh, having to do with registry cleanup. So if you'll open your Internet Explorer, <coughs> And once again, simply uh, open uh, Google, and we're going to type in the address in the address bar of www.pcpowersuite.com, and choose the Go button or Enter. <clears throat> And you can use a free uh, trial of this program. We're going to go ahead and download the free trial. And select Save and choose your Save in Location, which mine is the desktop. And select the Save button. Okay, that's complete, and I'm going to go ahead and close the Internet Explorer window. Now you can double-click uh, the uh, installer to invoke the installation process, and select Run. And it's notifying you this is the installer. You can either click Next to continue or Cancel to exit. I'm going to choose Next. Be sure to read and agree with the uh, license agreement. And I'm going to use the default installation location. Uh, if you need to change that location uh, because you're limited on drive space, you can use the browse button to select another drive or location. And then select next. And yes, I would like to uh, I already have this program installed and do use this program quite a bit. Uh, it's notifying me that uh, there is already a folder that uh, contains that information and uh, asking me if I would like to go ahead and install to that location and I'm going to tell it yes and then select next. Uh, you can have it create a desktop icon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that and select next. And here's a little summary of uh, the installation process. This is uh, the destination location, uh, the start menu folder, and additional tasks such as create a desktop icon. And then select install.
and I'm going to go ahead and have it launch the PC Power Suite. Okay, on this menu, uh, let's see here, here are the categories of different types of utilities that uh, you can use. And under each heading, which we've got System Cleaner highlighted here, uh, we show a System and Disk Cleaner, a Registry Cleaner and Fixer, and a Startup Cleaner. Now if you notice down here at the bottom, they do have three different versions of these uh, for purchase. Whenever you download, you do get the basic version. Um, they do have an advanced and a pro version for more detailed settings. Uh, what uh, I want you to uh, uh, look at is under the system optimizer. There's a uh, utility in here called registry defragger and optimizer. Um, go ahead and select that option and it's notifying you of, of what actually occurs. It's recommended once a month to uh, use this and I'm going to go ahead and select next and it's notifying you that it will uh, require exclusive access to the system registry so other things may pause whenever you uh, run this program. Uh, go ahead and select the start button you must, uh, you remove rewrites the whole thing without the spaces or the invalid information that it's found. Okay. Uh, a restart is required for this. I'm going to go ahead and tell this no so I can continue to the video. Uh, the reason for that is is the Windows registry is only read during startup. So I'm going to tell it no and uh, cancel. Of course, you hear you have a little report, total keys compacted, total size of all keys, total size after compaction. So I saved a little bit of space, which space was not my overall goal, uh, just uh, uh, mainly optimization. So I'm going to go ahead and select cancel. Now, I, I do have a different version of this program installed. I actually use the pro version, uh, so I have access to all of the files. Uh, there is also as well a registry cleaner and fixer in here and a startup cleaner under the system cleaner. Um, let's see here. Uh, under system optimizer we have a memory optimizer which can run. Uh, the utility we just use and the Windows optimizer. In the Windows optimizer we'll see here that uh, many of the options that we have previously done uh, such as Windows appearance you can even affect uh, internet and network options in here. Uh, if we open these, you can see uh, the different uh, items you can enable. This program is pretty uh, detailed and a lot of the features most people won't use. Uh, they do have a comprehensive uh, help file in here uh, which will uh, notify you of what each feature does. Um, mainly what I recommend for uh, system users is the base or advanced program. If you're a little weary of making system changes uh, there uh, I would not recommend the pro version uh, but there is an option let's see here under uh, system files backup and restore uh, you can take different backups of your file before you actually uh, uh, make changes to the system and you can as well use this program to restore a managed backup or open a previous backup. This will take a backup now. As well, whenever you use the uh, under the advanced program, uh, you use the registry cleaner and fixer. Uh, when going through this process, it's uh, it's going to ask you uh, to uh, uh, go ahead and make a backup, and it does make a backup of the registry before uh, completing the action. I'm going to go ahead and stop this scan currently uh, so we can uh, show you some other features. There are a few features for end users in here uh, such as organizers, there's an appointment planner, sticky pad, and a media files organizer. Uh, safe execution, there's a safe uninstaller which as well can help you uninstall programs as we had previously done. Uh, block programs from running uh, if you're unsure what a program is and word that it may be malware you can block programs in here or change your logon settings 
under internet and email there's an add and pop-up blocker and advanced direct mailer and email notification and under privacy and security there's a privacy uh, protector that erases all traces of evidence cookies and internet history and in, in uh, one little uh, utility uh, secure delete uh, this secure delete actually uses uh, uh, the DOD Department of Defense uh, security protocol to actually totally erase files uh, some of you may know and some of you may not that when you actually delete an item off of your computer basically what Windows does is in the first bit of information changes the uh, one which is or changes the zero which is on to one which is off Windows won't see that information but that information through various utilities can still be uh, retrieved from your computer now this uh, the spyware detective is not a comprehensive spyware detective uh, but it will look for the most uh, basic uh, instances of spyware you do receive a 30-day free trial with this program whenever you install it um, go ahead and have a look at it if you like it you may want to buy it it's a pretty handy program uh, a lot of the features uh, as I stated before we have previously uh, gone through in these videos and it's just a simpler way of, of accessing those features and that ends our video